Hello, how to find the cube root of any number? In this case, this is about 991,026,973. So, let's do that. What we are going to start first is we are going to break this number into two parts. I can decide to draw a line here. Now, this line will demarcate this number into two parts. We have this part here, and we also have this part here. So let's copy out this part here. So we are going to have this is two, six, nine, seven, three. Now, this is about 26,973. So I can express this as 27,000 minus 27. Then I will replace this part of the number with this. So the whole of this will simply become a cube root of this will be 9910. Then you have 27,000 minus 20 cell. So this becomes what we have here. Now, the next step will be for us to rewrite this as summation of numbers. This is what we are going to do. Like I said earlier on, this is about 991 million and 27 thousand. So, for me to write this thing, this number here, as its sum, I can simply have this as, this is about 990 million. That's 990 million. Then I have plus, if you take out 1 million, then I have plus, we have the 27,000. Then we have minus 27. So what we have here is the summation of this. And we have minus 27. Now I'm not including the cube roots for now. I'm just concentrating on what we have inside this cube root, what we have here. So the next thing will be to express this in standard form. So what we are going to do will be to express this the first one in standard form. So we simply have this 990 million. That is about standard form. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is 99 times 10 raised to the power of 7 plus this, if you count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, that is 6. This is 10 to the power of 6. Right? Then you have plus, this is 27,000, which is 27 times 10 to the power of 3, because you have 1, 2, Have you seen it? Then we have minus 20 cell. So from here, the next step will be for us to express this 99 as 100 minus 1. 100 minus 1 is 99. Then we have times 10 power 7 plus this is 10 power 6 plus this is 27 times 10 power 3 minus 27. Now, this is 100. I can express it as 10 power 2. Then I have minus 1 times 10 power 7 plus this is 10 power 6. I have 10 power 6 plus 27 times 10 power 3 minus 20 so 
What next? Let's multiply this out. We are going to have 10 power 2 times 10 power 7 minus 10 power 7 plus 10 power 6 plus 27 times 10 power 3 then minus 27. Now, there is 10 power 2, this is 10 power 2, this is 10 power 7. So what you need to do, if you have a power n times a power n, this equals a power n plus n. You need to add them together, I mean the exponents. So you are going to have, this is 10 to the power 2 plus 7, minus 10 power 7, plus 10 power 6, plus 27 times 10 power 3, minus 27. So this will give you 10 to the power of 9, 2 plus 7 is 9. Now, minus, this is 10 power 7. I have 10 power 6 already, so I can express this as 10 power 6 plus 1, which is the same thing as 7, plus 10 power 6, plus 27 times 10 power 3, minus 27. So from here, I go back to the same identity a power n plus n equals a power n times a power n. I apply this right here. So what I'm going to have will be 10 power 9 minus 10 power 6 times 10 power 1, which is the same thing as 10, plus 10 power 6, plus 27, times 10 power 3, minus 27. Now from here, there is 10 power 6 here, there is 10 power 6 here, I can factor that up. Meanwhile, I have my 10 power 9 minus 10 power 6. This will be times, this divides 10 power 6, I have 10. Then, I have this right here, which is, so we have, this will be minus, because this minus, when we multiply this minus, it will change the plus, so this place has to be minus. Then we have 10 power 6 divided by 10 power 6. This will give you 1. Have you seen it? So this place has to be minus, so that when you multiply with this minus, you have plus. Then we have plus 27. Then we have times 10 power 3 minus 27. So from here, we simply have 10 power 9 minus, this is 10 power 6 times this is 9, plus 27 times 10 power 3, minus 27 here is 3 to the power of 3. Alright, the next step we are going to take will be, this 9 here is a delta square, we are going to replace it with 3 power 2, and also, here, we are going to replace this with 3 times 3. I have 10. Then power will be 3 times 3. Minus a is 10 power 6. I can express it as 3 times 2 times 9, which is the same thing as 3 power 2. Plus, this is 27 times 10 power 3. Minus 3 power 3. Now from here, remember the identity, if you have a power n times n equals a power n or to the power of n. I'm going to apply this identity here and here. So I'm going to have, this will be 10 to the power of 3, to the power of 3, minus this will be 10 to the power of 3, to the power of 2, times this 3 power 2, I can express it as 3 times 3. Right, 3 times 3 is 3 power 2, plus here is 27. I can as well express this 27 as 3 to the power of 3 times 10 power 3. Then we have minus 3 power 3. From here, I can have 10 power 3 raised to the power of 3 minus, I can 
simply take out one of these three down here. You see the same thing is multiplication. You can have it as three times this is 10 power three raised to the power of two times three. This need. So it's the same thing. I just do one of these down here before this. And plus, this is 3 power 3 times 10 power 3. So I can simply express this 3 power 3 as 3 to the power of 2 plus 1, which is 3 and a half times 10 power 3 and a half minus 3 power 3. So from here, I have 10 power 3 with 3 power of 3 minus 3 times this is 10 power 3 raised to the power of 2 times 3 plus this remember the identity if you have a power n plus m equals a power n times a power m so if you apply this identity here you simply have 3 power 2 times 3 times 10 power 3 minus 3 power 3 so right now, what we are going to do will be to simply express it this way. I can have my 10 power 2 or 10 power 3 raised to the power of 3 minus 3 times 10 power 3 raised to the power of 2 times 3 plus this. I can simply write this one here before multiplying it by 3 power 2. Is the same thing, which is 3 times 10 power 3 times 3 power 2 is multiplication. You can write this before this is the same thing, minus 3 power 3. Now, we have gotten it how we wanted it to be. I can say, let A equals 10 power 3 and B equals 3. So if that is the case, look at what I'm going to do right now. 10 power 3 here, I'm going to have a power 3. Then I have minus 10 power 3 here. This is 3 times a squared times b. This b, I will replace it with 3. Plus, you see 3 here. I have 3 times, this is a times 3 power 2. Remember, b is 3. I have this is b to the power of 2. Then I have minus this is b to the power of 3. Have you seen it? So from here, I'm going to have a power 3 minus 3 times a squared b plus 3 times a b squared minus b power 3. Now, this expression means something if you have this solving mathematics. This is the simplified form of a minus b raised to the power of 3. Because if you expand this, you have a power 3 minus 3a squared b plus 3ab power 2 minus b power 3. Have you seen it? So we will now make use of this in order to replace the whole of this. So recall, recall that our a equals 10 power 3 and b equals what 3. So making use of this, which is the simplified form of that expression, we are simply going to have our a is 10 power 3 minus 3 raised to the power of 3. And remember, there was a cube root here. We are finding the cube root of this, so there's a cube root right here. Don't forget that we Brought it out from the cube root, and now we are inserting it back. So, the cube root here eliminates the cube root here. And what we are left with is simply 10 power 3 minus 3. And this equals 10 power 3 is simply 10 times 10 times 10. That is 1000 minus 3. And this will give you 1000 minus 3 is 997. So this becomes our answer. Without the use of calculators, strictly mathematics, manipulations, indices, and that is it. Some laws of indices. Step by step. I believe you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to 
give me a like. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And see you again. Our answer remains 997. Nine, so the cube root of this number is now 997 without a calculator. Thank you and see you again.